2010 Chevy Cobo check engine light for the knock sensor. So it is P0327, knock sensor performance. Uh, someone put a new sensor in it. This is, I guess, the old sensor that's in the vehicle. So this bolt's gone to the block with a 13 millimeter bolt. And this plugs into the engine harness, obviously. The sensor is located underneath the, um, the starter behind the starter and it's actually right there that bolt that 13 millimeter bolt that plug you're seeing right here on the right is the oil pressure sensor and that 13 millimeter bolt right there in the middle of the screen is the knock sensor that's where it's at it's behind that starter it's pretty easy to get to from underneath the vehicle you just need a small quarter inch and a 13 millimeter uh, drive um, so anyways Someone replaced this and the light's still on. They can't figure it out, so they brought it here. I scanned it. Uh, clear the light to see if it's a hard code. It is a hard code. It comes on right away. Uh, <clears throat> the way this works is it has a, a two wire design, and both of them with the key on should have, if I'm correct, about two to five volt reference. And on the opposite side of these terminals, it's a gray wire and like a blue wire with something. I'm not sure what it is. But anyway, if you leave the key on, disconnect these. The, the one that's coming from the engine, check those. So if you have a voltmeter, I'm using a power probe. But anyway, check it from, from here to ground. And this one the same from, from the terminal that comes here to ground. They both should have near the same. And on this one, my gray wire has ground and my blue wire has 2.2. So obviously something is wrong, but these vehicles have a, cons a high problem with the, with the harness rubbing against this oil filter housing. Uh, so I can get a better lighting. So the harness, this harness right here, rubs on that edge and grounds it. So what I did is I removed it, repaired the wires, taped it, zip tied it, and that's where it's at right now. Um, once I did that, cleared the light, set the key back on, rechecked it, and I have about three, three, three bolts on each wire. So now it's reading how it should be. It's working like it should. Uh, Took you for a drive, just kind of scanned it and did all that kind of work, and it's working like design. So again, this is a very, this is a very common problem with these. It might, it might cost other codes other than this, but this is what cut through all the way, grounded via the housing here on this edge. So what I did, I just fixed it and uh, electrical taped it a bunch of times, zip tied it to that hose, that way it stays away from it, and. That's a confirmed fix. Again, this is just a quick video for a knock sensor code on a Chevy Cobalt or other codes that might come up with the wiring rubbing through there. Thank you.